and welcome to this commission completion showcase video. We have an absolute treat for you. This is a second edition style Primaris Ultramarines Army. Really, really cool project. I do hope you're gonna like it. If you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then here at Siege, we are a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters. It will all paint from our bronze above tabletop minimum level all the way up to platinum, our competition entry quality level. If you are interested in the commission, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where there's a link to the Seed Studios contact form on our website. Click that link, it will take you directly to it. Select the drop down options that are relevant for your commission and project. And then also in the message section, put a list of models in our uh, model list format, which can also be found on that uh, contact form as well. Fire that off to us to get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome second edition Ultramarines Force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, let's have a look at the awesome characters from this Primaris second edition scheme at Force. Really, really cool uh, selection of characters. There are nine of them. The whole project has been completed by Kev, one the artist here at Siege. And without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at the uh, librarian, the Primaris librarian from the Force. Really, really cool, slightly darker armor on him as well. And immediately you can see those lovely yellow trims, uh, which the second edition sort of Ultramarine scheme is very reminiscent of. Uh, really, really cool work that Kev's done this with the glowing eyes and the little runes and bits and bobs. And a lovely brush blended blade there as well on this uh, on this dude as well, just a really show that sort of uh, psychic force going through his uh, his sword, which is cool. Uh, all the beauty seals there at the back, all with the text and everything sort of free-handed on there as well, which is really nice. Uh, all crisp edges done throughout, uh, through multiple levels of highlighting. And you've got that lovely yellow crest on his chest as well, uh, just to match those uh, second edition style sort of trims as well, which is really, really cool. The books and keys and everything all fully highlighted and fully picked out. Uh, so that's just this, uh, the Primaris Librarium. And then we'll start looking forward through the models. I think this is uh, one of the Cassius, I think it is, or one of the uh, sort of lieutenant models, uh, one of the many lieutenant models that came out. But this is the Ultramarine uh, sort of uh, bespoke one, which is quite cool. I love the way he's just drawing that Gladius there, as you can see, which is really, really cool in a very sort of ominous and looming kind of fashion as he's striding forward, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just him. But again, you can see all the edging and every aspect of detail fully picked out and painted. Uh, lovely metal effect there on that Gladius and the scabbard, all the highlighting done on the gold and copper work as well, which is nice and all the facial details all fully painted lips teeth and eyes and everything uh, and the hair as well all painted as well which is lovely just get that to focus uh, so that's just him uh, we'll then move to the right and have a look at this uh, Primaris captain here with a really really cool bellowing head uh, from a blood angel kit uh, you obviously got the bolter and all the different bits wedged fully highlighted those lovely yellow sort of accents on the on the crest and also on the trims as well again just moving around you've got this lovely cape here with deep sort of contrast in the sort of more recessed areas and brighter points on the catches of the folds. Uh, you've got the glowing runes there on the blade as well, which are really nicely done. Really good example of a very, very clean sort of silver level character here. Uh, just a really, really nice model. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward another lieutenant as well. I, I do like this one ever so much uh, in the very sort of stoic, defiant pose there, raising his sword aloft. Uh, very Black templar in pose, uh, I'd say, but obviously in ultramarine colours here, uh, with that laurel around his head all painted, all the lenses and everything done on, uh, all fully painted as well. We've got the crest there again in yellow. Uh, the laurels on the leg as well painted. Um, you've got every aspect of detail fully picked out and painted in a lovely fashion. So that's just him, give him a bit of rotate so you can see him, all the scripture and everything done on the purity seals. Uh, so that's just again the power node on the blade done there and then lovely fashion as well so that's just that's lieutenant uh, another captain this one in gravis armor here again with another blood angel heading there just with a lovely hair piece <laughs> as you can see uh, again all the areas of detail fully painted and fully picked out in a lovely clean fashion here as well you've got that cape there again with those lovely lovely amounts of contrast in there as, as well so that's just a gravis captain uh, and then we'll pull forward, uh, let's, go, let's go and leave the main man to the last and pull forward the ancient here so you, so you can see this ancient, again with all the areas of detail fully painted on him. So that's just a really, really cool stoic pose on him as well, which is lovely, just from the Dark Imperium box set. Uh, and then we'll pull forward, let's do the two guards of Calgar, just so you can see these first of all. Really, really cool models here, again with the same lovely amount of contrast added to that sort of darker red cape as well with the cream inner lining as well. All the purity seals all picked out with text as well, which is lovely. So that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the other one, so you can see his counterpart. 
Again, a really, really cool models. I love the way they're going left and right, kind of bookmark Calgar quite nicely as well, which is lovely. Got the Terminator on us there on the knee, all picked out and highlighted in a lovely fashion. Uh, little intricate U's and things painted as well, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just him. And then let's have a look at the main man himself, Calgar. Uh, again, in a very, very awesome defiant pose as per the new model with all the areas of detail fully highlighted and picked out. You've got the bolters in that classic red sort of cowling color as well. Very second edition as per our client request. All the different pipes and things picked out in lovely chevron fashions there, as you can see, and all the edges crisply painted as well in a lovely, lovely standard here as well. So that's just uh, Calgar, the main man. Looks good in second edition colours. Uh, and that's all the characters from this awesome, awesome second edition Ultramarine Primaris Force. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at all the infantry, and there's a lot. And then we'll finish up with some uh, in Inceptors and also the Redemptors. So they're all coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, let's have a look at all the Primaris infantry from this force. And there are 30 of them in total. We have 20 intercessors and then 10 Hellblasters at the back. Uh, let's start pulling for some forwards so you can have a look at these really cool intercessors. Uh, awesome, awesome model. Do like the intercessor a lot. Uh, loads of extra little bits and bobs added to these, obviously with patches and things from the other sort of standard sort of tactical marines, which is really cool. Uh, again, you can see Kev's done a stellar job of just edging all of the armor in a really, really lovely clean fashion for a good showing an example here of our bronze above tabletop level you can see the lovely yellow trims from that classic second edition style with the red cases on the bolt guns as well uh, so really really cool uh, levels of sort of work done on these as well so that's just one of the normal intercessors uh, pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at them again really really cool all the lenses and everything fully painted with point of light source again there were lens on top of the gun as well there painted with point of light source and refraction of light as well which is really nice every edge cleanly and sharply defined as well which is really cool uh, so that's just uh, the standard quality you'd expect from a bronze level marine or infantry model from us um and have a look at the sergeant here as well with a traditional red helmet there as you can see looking into his little computer or wrist wrist sort of screen thing there that's all been painted and picked out there with uh, little buttons and lights and details and things so that's just him there again loving the, the complimentary red blue and yellow uh, from that second edition style uh, scheme really really cool finish on these uh, and we'll move across just to a couple of the other models from the other squads just so you can see the consistency from unit to unit again here you've got the lovely lovely details all painted and sharp edging throughout uh, again all with transfers applied as well which is really lovely uh, and then we have obviously the other sergeant here that lovely little gladius again with that um, point of light source on the glowing rune of energy on the sword as well which is really cool so that's just him he's got loads of guns in he and <laughs> so that's just him uh, and then we'll pull forward one with a grenade launcher here auxiliary grenade launcher as well just so you can see that again that red casing there on the weapon which is really nice so that's just him uh, another sergeant from another one of the little five-man intercessor units uh, again pointing away kill that guy um <laughs> uh, i love all the lenses that kev's done the lenses all in green as well to complement the red which is really really nice uh, as well so that's just him and we'll pull forward another intercessor from this unit here just so you can see him again the consistency from model to model every edge and everything fully defined there in a really lovely finish so that's just him uh, and then the final sergeant just because i do like putting forward the sergeants here again very stoic pose again pointing ominously there with the uh, gladius Again, just really, really cool. And I love the yellow uh, yellow trims and yellow aquilas on the uh, chest as well. Just really, really cool. And good to see that second edition scheme that I grew up with put onto these new models. Uh, we'll pull forward some of the Hellblasters here, as you can see. This just chap here, just sort of like same point at that thing, uh, which is really cool. So that's just one of the Hellblasters with a lovely, lovely sort of tealy, turquoisey glow on the plasma uh, as well, which is lovely. So that's just him. Uh, we'll pull forward a few of these Hellblasters so you can see them again. And lovely consistency from model to model uh, as well again you've got the sort of heavy, heavy unit as well markings on these guys as well heavy support markings on these as well and then with we'll the sergeant from the other side here again really really cool again just carrying by that grab handle his plasma weapon and then pointing and firing with a bolt pistol which is lovely but all the edges and everything fully sharply picked out there as you can see uh, so that's just the sergeant i will pull forward one last hell blaster just so you can see one from the other side Again here, really, really, really cool model. Again, love the little extra canisters and things on these plasma models as well, which is lovely. And those little lenses all sort of picked out as well on the guns. Uh, just those extra little details, which we do here for our clients. Uh, and that's just the 30 infantry from this force, guys. Do hope you like them. Next up in the final section, we have the two Redemptors, the big boys, and six of the Inceptors. We'll see you guys back in a sec. 
And last up, we have the Redemptors and also the Inceptors to finish up this second edition themed Primaris Ultramarines Force. Really, really cool models. Uh, we'll start with the Redemptors. Uh, really, really awesome Dreadnought. Probably one of my favorite Dreadnought models. Um, just do like the way that they've upscaled everything. And also the flexibility of the kit, which is really, really nice. Kev's done a stellar job on these, just picking out every sharp edge in a really, really defined fashion. Extra little details, like all the pipes and everything fully picked out and painted. All the lenses and everything fully done. Uh, obviously, they've all got transfers on as well, which is really nice. Spot color, that complimentary red on all the casings. I love the fact that the... Um, the missile pole on the top, the casing is red as well, just to match that weapon casing and tie in that second edition theme. And again, as you can see here, uh, we've got obviously the uh, Dreadnought firing away with his wrist mounted onslaught Gatling cannon there, as you can see. And then we've got the larger version here as well, which is really nice. Now these are um, just replaceable, so that we've got the plasma weapons that you can just literally put in there for our client, which is really nice as well. Uh, so that's just those. And they match the Hellblasters with that lovely, lovely glow as well, which we've got. Uh, so that's just uh, the first Redemptor here. Just get the second one for you guys to have a look at as well. Again, same consistency from model to model, so all the extra little details, all fully painted, all the little lenses and everything there, as you can see, all picked out and painted, and all the pipes and cabling there with some chevrons and other bits and bobs. Uh, this chap is just standing there, and about to crush something underfoot, a bit of masonry or something, uh, while blasting away with the uh, the onslaught Gatling cannon there, as you can see, and that lovely red casing just to match as well. Uh, all the little missiles and uh, frag launchers all there picked out as well, which is lovely. We've round got the mechanic and symbol and everything painted, but you can see the lovely, lovely clean finish across this model. Uh, every edge fully highlighted, every detail picked out and painted as well. Uh, lovely example here of our bronze level, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just the Redemptor. Uh, we'll then start pulling forward some of these really cool uh, Inceptors. Uh, this is just one of the sergeants here with the uh, dual sort of uh, guns that he's got. I can't remember what they're called. Put it in the comments if you can remember, because I can't. <laughs> uh, and we've got this uh, lovely, lovely uh, sort of leaping pose here on this chap as well which is really cool but again you can see every edge fully painted every detail fully picked out uh, so that's just the sergeant then we'll have a look at some of the uh of his buddies uh, again here those red casings really lovely picking out those weapons as well which is really cool and visually actually makes it a lot easier just to define what weapons they've got as well in a really lovely fashion just because of that triarch of blue red and yellow uh, which is really cool again you've got all the areas of detail work fully painted and picked out on these awesome models um, move across to this other chap here who's firing with both guns really wants to get rid of something <laughs> and uh, that's just him there as you can see with those lovely yellow trims and you have a yellow crest on him as well which is cool just with a bit of contrast added to them for shadow which is lovely um, the other sergeant pull him forward so you can have a look at him Again, another really cool pose, just firing with one weapon there as he's landing or coming down, which is cool. Uh, again, every edge fully picked out and fully painted on these chaps as well, which is just nice. And then the final one, we'll pull forward him so you can see, again, same consistency and attention to detail on all of these. Uh, just so you've got a very, very concentric force and uh, you can mix and match your models up throughout the army without fear of one model not being painted the same as the other uh, or having things missing, for example. Uh, so that's just the Inceptors. Uh, so I do hope you like that last section of the video, guys. Uh, we're going to come back in a second in a second just have a look at the force overall in all its glory once again and you can find out how you can take out an army project with us or a character uh, at the end of the video shortly see you guys back in a sec so thanks for checking this video out guys and this awesome second edition style Primaris Ultramarines army. Loads and loads of awesome models as I'm sure you've seen in the video and uh, I do hope you liked it. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where you can find a link to our contact form on our website. That contact form, once you're there, all you need to do is select the relevant drop down options for your project from those available and then in the message section include a model list in our format which is also shown on there as well. Fire that off once completed to us and we'll get back to you with a quote to get the process started. Uh, also in the description of the video you can find all the links to our social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook respectively. Go give us a like and follow on those just to keep up to date with everything we do. Uh, and finally, while you're here on YouTube, do us a couple of favours. Uh, number one, obviously subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with everything that we put up. Secondly, if you do hit that bell icon, you will be notified when we put new videos up. So just give that little bell a little tick, then that way you can see all the new videos that come along. And uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really, guys. So thank you very much. And we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.